Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosberg from Hospital for Special Surgery, and I wanted to share with you one of the most significant advances in femur lengthening. This is an excerpt from a recent lecture that I can. Lengthening of the femur is something that we used to use routinely with the external fixator. That was the only way that we could lengthen a femur. And one of the most significant advances has been the use of the internal lengthening nail. And I'm going to show you a similar case that has been treated the old way and the new way. This is a um, teenage girl who had a post-traumatic growth arrest and a valgus or knock knee deformity of her right leg. You can see the planning shows that we're going to do the osteotomy and the distal part of the femur to correct the deformity and subsequently lengthen. And I did this a few years back and we used a monolateral external fixator. You can see the bar on the outside of the leg. And we did the osteotomy and then we gradually lengthened and she ended up with a nice straight leg and out to length. The bone healed beautifully and she had a fantastic clinical result allowing her to get back to high level athletic activity. Now let me show you the new way that we would do this. This is a 20-something-year-old um, young man who presented with a very similar problem, leg length discrepancy just under an inch, and a valgus deformity also related to a growth arrest. You can see the planning, which is similar. It shows that the apex of the deformity is in the distal part of the femur. There's eight degrees of deformity. And the plan is to do an osteotomy to correct the deformity and subsequently lengthen. We're going to use blocking screws to help guide the nail and you can see the way it looks here. The blocking screws are inserted to guide the nail. The nail path is planned previously. This is what it looks like in surgery where we do an acute correction of the deformity using a fixator only during surgery and not out of surgery. Very small incisions are used. So the ability to correct the deformities with blocking screws and with an external fixator. And here you see the rod going in, and here is the figure at the end of surgery with the blocking screws in place and the rod in place. Now over the course of about a month, you can see lengthening occurs. The leg deformity has been fully corrected. The valgus has been corrected. And you can see the position of the nail once the bone is fully healed and that's the one inch of new bone growth that has occurred. Now this second method has allowed us to do the same thing without any use of external fixator. This has been a significant advance in limb lengthening surgery. We get to the same place, but we get there much more easily for the patient. There's less pain, there's quicker mobility, quicker weight bearing, and less stiffness of the knee. Thank you for allowing me to share this epic advance in limb lengthening and reconstruction surgery with you.